All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Dee's Divinity, Dee's Divine Tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and jump into this unboxing of this beautiful Quan Yin Oracle. I love, I love, I love, I love Atlanta Fairchild's decks. I just already know this is going to be bomb. Anyway, before we even get into this, y'all, it should go without saying, please check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, the reading that follows is intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that spirit has for you within the reading, okay? Always be self-aware, self-accountable. I am not responsible for how you interpret what you get from the reading, if anything at all. Keep in mind that it is general. Not all may apply to you. I may not even be talking to you, okay? I may just be talking about the collective energy overall. I may be talking about someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or foe. I don't know. So if the shoe don't fit, don't force it. Don't come to me. Talk about your feet, your toes. Them kerns hurt because I didn't do what you did, okay? In all seriousness, y'all, that's why I say be self-aware, self-accountable. Use your discernment. If it's not for you, it's not for you. It's okay. Um, I also do not subscribe to gender roles as far as male, female, but I will say he, she in reference to the masculine and or feminine energies that I feel and read from the cards. With this gorgeous stick, you know, I mean, I do feel like it's more as it states <laughs> uh, connected to the divine feminine. But still, we all have that within us. All right. So, you know, take it as it resonates. I still could be talking about a male in your life who is just embodying or in this energy. It really doesn't matter, y'all. Um, these are not meant to rule your life. The reading that that is, you know, it's just meant to be confirmation or clarification of what you already know. That's why I say use your discernment. All right, that's enough of that. If you are interested in any of the other decks that I use or any of the unboxings, please check the playlist below. And it should have everything you need. I do have uh, um, many more I know that I still haven't released yet <laughs> that I will be doing that's from a while ago but still they'll be out here again like I already said time is fluid so it really doesn't matter whenever they're released or whenever you view them they're meant for you at that time okay without further ado for the sake of time I have gone ahead and removed the shrink wrap and um I will bless them again off camera so that we don't take up too much time but let me go ahead and remove these and here's the deck, or the box, I should say. How gorgeous. Just, I can't wait to get in it. There's the side. And then the back. And the other side. Okay. And here's the top. The guidebook. I'm just going to flip through a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Here's the back of the guy. Oh, gorgeous. Just flipping through. Um, it's about two pages, I guess. She generally, hers are, hers are a little lengthy, her descriptions, but they're, man, are they worth it though. And she always, she generally always gives a healing or like a meditation that you can you can utilize with the energy behind the card. I love it. Okay, beautiful. All right, so I'm just going to put this aside. And as you see, the bottom of the box doesn't have anything in it. And here's the card. So I'm gonna just, just going to move this box. I'm going to bless the cards again, um, smudge them off camera, and we're going to get into this, okay? All right, y'all. So once again, here's the back of this beautiful deck, which looks just like the top of the box. Gorgeous. And look at that. 
Love this flower pop, firefly. When I'm low, you take me high. I can teach you all the signs of love. Yeah. Heal and nurture your womb, my beautiful divine feminines. And look at the love, the growth, the beauty, the adornment that you have. You don't know the power that you have, my beautiful feminines. All right. We're going to see, though. Mm. Wow. I had to turn it back over. I'm actually going to start from the top. But I had to. Oh, this is, I, yeah, this is the start. No, we're going to start here. That's why they had me turn it back over. Yeah, this is number one, Bamboo Moon. Hmm. I could spend all day with these, y'all, but I want to get through them so that we can get to the reading so this won't be too terribly long. Blessings of the Moon Maiden. Mm -mm -mm. I already see a theme, working with the moon magic, y'all. That's the feminine energy can be, you know. Blossoms of the Sky Dancer. Hmm. Call of the Dancing Crane. Baby. I get very sensual energy from these cards. I'm hearing seduction. Sexy, hypnotic, erotic. You gon' make me do it, do it to ya. Usher. <laughs> Dance of the Butterfly Queen. I love this. Y'all, and I've been sitting on this deck for a minute. When I say a minute, I mean like months. Mm -mm -mm. But there is, immediately there is a connection. 7 Eleven on the timer when I said that. Daughter of the Phoenix. Whew, we're gonna have fun with this. Mm -hmm. Drink from the Emerald Fountain. Look how healing that is right at her heart chakra. Baby, come through. Mm. Dynasty of the Divine Mother. Peace. Eight immortals. Wow. I get like saint or like um, ascended master. That's what I meant to say. Ascended master vibes out of this. Empress of the Pearl. Baby. Completion. You are complete. Something like that. Enter the Jade Temple. I love it. I love it. Mm -mm. Gates of Heaven. Hear the Yellow Tiger Mother. Mm -mm. Immortal Treasures. Powerful. Ivory Swan Goddess. Beautiful Lily. Somebody might say that to you. Maiden Magu. Maiden Magu. Maybe that's how you say it. Many hands of the goddess. Mm, okay. Wow, that's another one. Mother Fierce, baby. I'm scared of you. <laughs> This gives me the um is it the guidance card from the uh from Ganesh? I don't know, it's giving me that vibes. Definitely protection here. Mother of mercy. <laughs> She's like, I ain't taking no shiz naive. <laughs> Nectar of the lotus.
Orchid Priestess of Destiny. Uh, Muse is what I just heard. Princess of the Autumn Harvest. These are beautiful. Radiant Moon of Compassion. Mm. Reveal the Peacock Beauty. Healing energy here. Sacred River Yancey. Yeah, that's how I'm saying it. Shining Lotus. Sisters of the Star Blossoms. Sister, sister. <laughs> Sisters of the Sun Rising. Okay. Sound the Fierce Flute. And ain't it fierce? That look like the sword, Ace of Swords. That's the vibe I'm getting. Truth. But you heard, it can be fierce sometimes. Spin the silken thread divine. Mm. Sweeping sister willow. Aww. <laughs> Ukulele. I don't know why I got that. But uh, maybe some of y'all played it. Tai Chi rising. Peaceful. This is powerful. 32. This For this to be any time I get the topper or you know, of the deck, of the box, whatever. There's something powerful. There's a reason they chose this. 11.44 on the timer, as I said that. You know, there's a reason the author, illustrator, or whatever chose this. Ten Sisters of Light. The Amaryllis Loot. Up together. The Book of Changes. Okay. The Dance Unveiling. <laughs> what you got to show? The Lotus Throne. Mm, that's gorgeous. The Tao. Tao, Tao, however you want to say that. The threshold. Mm. The Yin Empress. Baby. To the Celestial Mountain. Turquoise Lotus Mother. That's interesting because I don't get turquoise out of this. I get more of the mauve. Veil of shadows. I get, I'm, I'm feeling like Kali energy. I don't know. Weave the future golden. Mm, mm, mm. Master 44. And that is where we end, y'all. This is powerful. I feel it. I feel it. It's so much healing energy within this deck. And I'm I'm going to be in love. I'm going to be working with this, I know, for the next several months. That is why I've been called to whip it out. Um, the beautiful thing, it's, it's the size of any typical Oracle deck. I would say maybe, I don't know, two and a half, three by maybe four, five at the most. Um, as you saw, there's 44 cards in the deck. They're not too thick. They're perfect size. You see they are a um, gloss finish on it. So it does reflect the light some. Um, and it's not too big, you know, with as far as the deck in its entirety. I'm going to get some good shuffles in. I'll, sh I'll give you a few here so that you can see on camera. And, and then I'm going to shuffle really well off camera. So just to save time. Um. And then we'll get into the spread, shall we? Shuffle. 
shuffle is very easy. I mean, I have rather big hands, so I can typically handle any size deck, um, you know, but for those of you who have smaller hands, it may behoove you to shuffle this way. I generally shuffle this way. It really doesn't matter. You can do it however you want to, y'all. As long as you get the job done, you can even just cut the deck and shut it. You know what I mean? Like, and you can literally do your own thing. So, I'm going to get some more good shuffles in and I'll be back. They said they're ready. What messages do you have for the collective spirit, for the divine feminine, for healing, for nurturing? messages do you have? Thank you for allowing me to be a clear and open channel. Thank you for providing. Thank you for guidance. There we go. First one out we have Sacred River Yancey. And y'all, <laughs> I, I can't even lie. When I first flipped through this through the, in the deck, and mind you it's a 25 potentially being a 7, it, it kind of um, threw me off. Cause I'm not, you know, I was like, what, like, what is, what is this? Cause I have no idea what the river Yancey is, which I'm sure we'll find out once I read it to you from the guidebook. But, um, I mean, just intuitively, let me see here. There's, I don't know. There's an opening up or something. I don't know if it's like a portal energy. I, Cause I, I get open your lungs and I feel like, um, maybe you need to go to a riverside maybe not even necessarily this river if you have access to this river wherever it is that will be even greater but I just feel like anybody of water to do breath work you know what I'm saying like to really open yourself up because that is truly healing I even get like the wind energy I hear I want the wind to carry me I want to fly yeah 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 so, um, I don't know. I do see like there's a guide or somebody lifting you. Keep lifting me higher and higher. You, you may be an air sign or somebody, somebody who's helping you even in the spirit realm may have been an air sign. I don't know because that's, I'm, I'm getting that real strong. Or even a water sign, of course, with this being River Yancey, Sacred River Yancey. I don't know. We shall see. I feel like they have one more for you. And I know you can't really see that here. Let's just um, let's scoot these up, shall we? Let's do that. Okay, let's see. Currently bottom of the deck, Blessings of the Moon Maiden, which is a two. Let's see. I feel like there's another one. What else do we have for the collective at this time? Thank you. Look, <laughs> they wanted that. They wanted it. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, work with there's something about this moon. Um, this two, you may be life path two because you got two, what is that? 252. That may be an important number for you. You may be life path two or five, especially two. You may be born on the second or the fifth of the month. Um, Oh, this is like the Empress kind of energy. I don't know. I'm getting feeling fertility, especially with her holding that rabbit. Blessings, fortune, prosperous, abundance. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So I already know that the readings are going to be long. <laughs> so let me go on and get the guidebook and get into it. The bottom of the deck we have. Wow, Dance of the Butterfly Queen, a major transformation here. Anytime we get butterflies, and especially with that five energy, some changes, growth. Some of y'all been on a journey. I don't know, and I'm telling y'all, the Sacred River and this and the Moon energy um, definitely may have something to do with the water sign, or you're needing to embody or embrace the the emotion, your emotional, your emotional center. You know, your emotions. I don't even know why I tripped, stumbled over saying it like that. They're all enlightened, though. There's all a halo, Beyonce is what I'm hearing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like something powerful is coming through with the next full moon. 
And it, whenever you see this, the next full moon, something powerful, maybe, you know, generally with full moons, it's the energy of release, shedding, and definitely transformative type of energy. So, especially with this being the overall, underall energy, major, something major. I apologize. But yeah, let's see. Uh, let me, let's do, I guess, Sacred River Yancey first. All right. The message begins on page 80 and ends on 81, 8 and 9. Okay. The Sacred River Yancey eternally flows and changes. <laughs> These changes down here in that five energy. Um, just as a river flows and changes course, you too are evolving in your divine path. Veils and sheaths that once covered your soul light are being washed away. Cleansing by sacred water specifically indicates that your emotional life and your life direction are being purified and healed. Changes in the flow of energy within you and in the momentum of your life path unfolding are imminent. This is exciting. You are growing and changing and soon your life circumstances will reflect your inner evolution. Baby. So it says the river, the sacred river Yancey is in which beloved Kwan Yin delights is always subtly changing course, flowing and growing. You, like the sacred river, are changing too, beloved. Your life direction is going through subtle realignments or even in the midst of a far more obvious change. You are encouraged to trust in the natural unfoldment of this process and to allow it to work its way through you in your life. The sacred river Yancey is an extension of the intelligent guidance of the Divine Mother, her hand reaching through your soul and guiding you towards your highest destiny. She helps the higher self release any impurities which it, which it no longer needs to contain. I'm telling you, especially with this combination of the moon, maiden, it's release, major release. In doing so, there can be a period of spiritual release and even physical detoxification. The detox may occur through emotions that surface inexplicable. Inex I can't even get it out because I, that's that way I was telling you, your emotional center, when I couldn't get that out earlier, that's exactly what's going on. So don't be surprised if you're overly emotional, all right? It's part of the process. It's part of this transformation. It's part of your growth. It's gorgeous. All right. So in doing so, there can be a period of spiritual release and even physical detoxification. The detox may occur through emotions that surface, inexplicable pains or aches in the body, a feeling of tiredness for no particular reason, and a need to rest or the urge to meditate more, do healing, go for swims in the ocean, attend a yoga class, or even change the way you're eating and sleeping. There are natural intuitive impulses that confirm your soul is going through a cleansing process as it brings more of its purity into expression on the physical plane. Kuan Yin speaks as the soul of the sacred river Yancey now and guides you to be kind to yourself during these changes and to honor your inner guidance as your own inner light grows stronger now. Trust the flowing changes of the sacred river through your life. You may observe that people are even more attracted to your light during such time and in the period following this shift in your light quotient. You are holding more light in your being and without the old veils covering your inner light, your soul is able to shine through, mat through matter stronger than ever before. Some people will be attracted to these changes in you and your relationships will grow and improve. There might be some that are fearful of the changes. Keep firm boundaries that are loving and don't worry about any extra attention you will receive. Your light is not just growing brighter, it is growing stronger too and you will be ready to handle any situation that comes to you with joy, grace, and effectiveness. Be kind and patient. Stay true to yourself and trust that spiritual growth serves all. And y'all, um, that she has a, I'm not going to read this part, but uh, she has a healing in the sacred river and, you know, like I said, a meditation and then a prayer at the sacred river to assist the divine feminine in this, okay? Which is powerful. And actually, I lied to you. It ends on page 82, which is a 10 endings to begin anew and that is exactly what you're going through that's powerful Ooh -wee. <laughs> okay so let's move on to the blessings of the moon maiden and let's see so actually i lied to y'all anyway because these are <clears throat> these are more like three page descriptions and um because it has you know <clears throat> It has the explanation of the card, which is what I'm reading to you. And then it has the healing um, 
of the energy of the card, right? And then it finishes with a prayer. So, but like I said, if you're interested, let me know down below and, um, you know, maybe I'll post that for you. Okay. So the blessings of the moon maiden, the message begins on 16 and ends on 18. Okay. So seven, eight, nine, right. The moon maiden with her lucky hair <laughs> brings auspicious tidings of prosperity and abundance to you. Now I'm telling y'all the universe seeks to replenish, restore, and create through you. Allow yourself to receive beyond what you have thought is possible by opening your heart with gratitude now. Let the blessings of good fortune from the beloved maiden of the moon, Kuan Yin, flow easily into your life now. Gifts of abundance and prosperity are flowing to you now. You are being asked to open up to what you believe is possible and then open some more. Allow good fortune in all its forms to come to you. Don't limit what you are capable of attracting with false beliefs about how much you deserve or what you are worthy of having. The universe will share with you so much more than you imagine possible as you open your heart and let go of self-imposed limitations, doubts, or fears. That's part of that release, right? The moon maiden blesses with great generosity, blessings of good fortune and peace. Yet we must trust how these blessings come to us and accept that we may need to grow for those blessings to manifest in our lives. All blessings need energy within us in which to vest like a seed needing soil in which to be planted so it can manifest in the physical world as a vital, healthy plant. Hmm. Y'all might want to work with that earth energy, by the way, and the moon. Blessings such as a new partnership, life path, career opportunity, growth in personal or spiritual power, and financial healing require energy within us to be able to settle and grow into physical form, to be enjoyed and shared in our lives. Our beliefs, openness, vitality, and trust need to be big enough to receive the magnificence of the blessings coming to us. Otherwise, it is like asking a wonderful vast oak tree to be planted in a tiny pot or an ocean to be contained in a thimble. Baby, uh-uh. <laughs> Do you know how easy it is for you to attract even more goodness and support for this growth in your life? Have gratitude for what you already have received and how you have already grown telling y'all, ah, oh, don't say that for nothing. An attitude of gratitude manifests your miracles and magnitude. It really does. All right. These blessings would not be coming to you if there was not a, a readiness and an ability within you to receive them. So share something of what you have with others in a way that expands rather than depletes you. You may choose to share kindness, your talents, love or affection, knowledge or material resources. Give from the desire to do so from the heart. Do not seek to give out of fear, obligation, or guilt. Just give what feels good to give and your heart will open with joy rather than close with anxiety or fear. That is powerful. You will feel good and move even more deeply into the flow of abundance. The divine feminine endlessly creates over and over again, flowing in cycles just like the moon. If you have been through a challenging cycle where your creative, where your creative ability to manifest seemed to be impeded, this oracle indicates that the tide is changing and your finances, energy, relationships, and vocation are being infused with abundant universal energy now. I receive it. Thank you, Spirit. Accept this divine grace and know that your abundance helps others feel abundant too. It is a spiritual service to live a life of fullness and joy. Baby, look at here, look at here. And then, of course, it goes into the healing process and the prayer. I'm going to move on to the Dance of the Butterfly Queen, which is just a few pages over. And it is on page 26 and ends on 28. All right. All right. Let me stop this so we don't get cut out. Hold on. Okay, y'all. Um, I do apologize if you start to hear noise in the background. They are cutting grass outside. So Dance of the Butterfly Queen. A pure heart and sincere love attracts divine grace. With the grace of Kuan Yin, Butterfly Queen, that which is, was impossible becomes possible. From caterpillar to winged creature of delight, you cannot restrain what divine grace ordains no matter how incredible it may seem to be. Whatever has been troubling you or whatever has been inspiring you, allow grace to infuse the situation or dream so that it may unfold with divine perfection. Allow the Butterfly Queen to dance. She will bring healing and grace to your life situation now, beloved one, with lightness of step and grace in her heart. Because mm -hmm, she's just light as a feather, ain't she? 
Divine grace flows through the butterfly queen with lightness of touch and with great joy. She bestows blessings of healing, empowerment, and liberation. It flows to those in genuine need and who are ready to receive it. There are no limits to what is possible with divine grace. It is the power of that. It is the power that the butterfly. It is the power that the butterfly queen Kuan Yin allows to flow through the pure channel of her heart. Kuan Yin encourages you to be ready to receive her grace and choose to let go of striving and instead to turn to the, your heart, calling out to unconditional divine love and beloved Kuan Yin to dance her grace through your life. Divine grace is not suddenly having a valuable lesson taken away from you. It is the intervent it is the intervention of compassionate, unconditionally loved. Wait a minute. <laughs> Slow down. Divine grace is not suddenly having a valuable lesson taken away from you. It is the intervention of compassionate, unconditionally loving, divine intelligence that helps you to realize you have learned what you can and now it is time for you to be assisted out of the situation to be lifted up into a new vibrational experience. Turn your mind to the expectation of peaceful resolution and inspirational assistance. Let go of deep feelings of unworthiness that require that you must continue to struggle with limited resources on your own. Surrender false notions that allowing others to assist you is dependency. Whether these others are in human form or spiritual form or the inner planes, it is interdependence to allow yourself to be assisted and to assist others. You are not handing over your power. You are allowing empower divine relationship to make your power grow so that you can rise above and be blessed. And thou rise up. <laughs> Butterfly Queen urges you now to let the heaviness of the situation go. Allow your heart to become light as air, as though her butterfly dance was tickling your heart so lightly now. Her grace is reaching to you now, beloved. Mm. That's powerful. And of course, it goes on with the healing dance um, of the Butterfly Queen, which is on 27, and then the prayer, which is on 28. Again, wow, getting into alignment, y'all. That's powerful. That is powerful. That is what I have for you, your message from this beautiful, beautiful Kuan Yin Oracle deck. I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below because you never, ever know how this may help someone else grow, especially and in including yourself. 333, as we say in there, y'all. Powerful confirmation and synchronicity. If someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to check out any of the playlists if of interest. There may be some messages there for you. All right. Y'all be easy. Be blessed. Be loving, nurturing, healing. And please don't forget to protect your divine feminine. Allow her to grow. Right. Allow her to heal. Deuces.